Hey guys, what's going on? We are doing K-pop versus white boy. Now this is kind of like a special type of video because uh, last week? No, it was this week. Well, whatever. Last last week. A few days ago. A few days ago. Uh, Ubisoft flew us out to Canada along with a bunch of other YouTubers. YouTubers all over the world. Like It was crazy. So many different languages being spoken. Uh, and they flew us out to play Splinter Cell at their studio and check out motion capture and how that works. And it was really cool. Uh, but me and Alex did a co-op mission together. This is the stealth based one, which I thought I would be bad at. Didn't you think you would just fail? Yeah, I'm more of a running gun explosions, ADHD, like, no, 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 and it, it's a different style of game type, but it's really satisfying, and it's, it gets your heart pounding when there's, like, a guy with a flashlight going past you, and you have to hide. I like, I really like it. I, I like that style uh, of stealth-based gameplay. Yeah, I mean, usually I just fail at stealth. <laughs> like, I, like, you know, I get caught right away, and then it becomes a run-and-gun experience. But I just want to say, and I don't want to brag, but I'm going to, uh, I'm like a Splinter Cell champion. I was, <laughs> all right, at first I sucked. And then I gave it a few games, and then I became a master of stealth. No one could take me down. Oh, it was beautiful. Well, when it comes to multiplayer, that's a different story. I went 17 and 3, our first game. And you well, that's the, when I was bad. You were on the other team. <laughs> I was still figuring everything out. And my teammates didn't speak English. Okay. So I was, like, saying things, and then they weren't responding. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, they're all speaking another language. Yes, yeah, Splinter Cell is, and, and the developer, or the head multiplayer guy, was, like, communication is key and he actually compl that, that was an awesome experience. I went yeah I went like I think I went 10 and 1 against him and I like hacked everything 100% right away yeah it was and he complimented us the, the developer of the multiplayer he's like you guys communicate really well and I was like I would hope so <laughs> yeah that was a that was a cool feeling like the guy who made the game we beat him and then he complimented us on our, our communication and our gameplay which uh, I think we kind of got a little natural you know, we know how to talk to each other. Ah, uh, uh, neutral connection. <laughs> Ew. Um, okay, sorry, I was thinking dirty things. <laughs> now, <laughs> and, well, this co-op was, um, we had to be stealthy, and we were working as a team, obviously. And, spoiler alert, uh, I kicked ass, as you can see. He has gotten zero kills yet. Okay, this Zero. He killed the dog, animal murderer. I... F you had a sniper rifle, which was kind of overpowered. We need to patch a sniper rifle and splinter cell. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, had the, you were doing really good, and I was like, man, I'm just going to let Kelly take the lead. She's taking out everybody. I got the dog, though. The dog was coming at us. I, I think Actually, I think the dog was just like a pet dog. <laughs> yeah. I, it was probably a friendly dog. Like It's just like coming to say hello to us, and you're like... <laughs> 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 at least I got... I got most animals. Uh, that reminds me. I don't know if we've ever told this story, but it's a good story. So we used to live in kind of like the middle of nowhere, but it was like a forest. There was tons of animal life. Just tons. Like we had a turkey living on, in our backyard. We had deer. Yeah, like every day this turkey would come around. And it's cool. Like we had these big windows and we're like doing the dishes or hanging out in the kitchen, whatever. And the turkey was just like pecking at the uh at, at the bird feed and there was like 80 blue jays yeah it was really cool it was awesome and raccoons and cats like wild cats <laughs> i would try it i tried to make them my friends but they don't want to be my friends so i'd leave them food though you had a cat cage out there or like a cat, I a put, pet carrier I yeah think. and i put fish in it I was like, well, they'll love fish, so they'll be my friend, and, then, and I can <laughs> catch them in the cage and keep them forever. And then the landlord uh, came over one day, and he, she was like, what's that? I was like, I don't know, Kelly, he's doing something. What? That All right, really quick, before I tell the first story, I'm going to tell another story right now. So, when I lived at the house, I got a bunch of magazine subscriptions. And uh, I got a lot of travel magazines. 
storage room. And and I'm pretty sure the landlord thinks I'm gay <laughs> because I accidentally ordered a, a gay and lesbian travel magazine. I had no idea. Like, I had no idea. I, had no, I got the magazine the first time. I was like, oh, cool. This looks interesting. And then I opened the first page and there's two men, like, making out. I was like, hmm, advertising's, you know, it's embracing the gays. Yeah, this is great. Good for them. And then I realized this is a magazine uh, for gay people. And I don't know, there's nothing wrong with that. I just continued getting it because I didn't really, I just, it was about traveling. So it didn't really matter. But I think it still sends to that address. <laughs> <laughs> she probably thinks our, like, uh, I was going to say our marriage, but we're not married. She probably thinks our relationship is a sham. <laughs> but the one story I want to tell about animals, me and you were about you being an animal murderer. Oh no. <laughs> we were Alex was driving. <laughs> That's not the funny part. <laughs> and an animal goes whoop right into the middle of the road. It was a it was an opossum. And you I o popped him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you o popped him. And I I <laughs> And you just like you got the saddest look, and you're like, little guy didn't make it. <laughs> and then you started crying. It was so sad, and I, I was just laughing so hard and calling you an animal murderer. And I you was, got really mad at me that whole night. You're like, you called me an animal murderer when I felt horrible. I was traumatized because I was just driving right, and it's like black on the side of the roads. It's nighttime. Got my lights on, whatever. And out of nowhere, this white flash just comes out of nowhere. And there was nothing I could have did. It just... And if I... Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do anything in some situation. Oh, like, yeah. you don't, you don't want to swear. I mean, if you can avoid it, avoid it. Like, if it's like, like a... I don't know, a baby in the middle of the road, breakdancing, you know. Avoid... <laughs> <laughs> avoid that, obviously. What? I don't know. <laughs> avoid that, we obviously. We saw bad parents today, actually. They let... We were at Subway getting a sandwich, and these parents just like watch their like three-year-old go out the door and just start playing in the parking lot and they're like oh no but yet they're sitting there on their asses mm -hmm. and i'm like is this really happening right now the kid's like, like playing in the road what are you doing yeah, do i have to go save your fucking kid yeah she was like yelling at the kid through the glass so like that was gonna do something <laughs> so stupid so, so yeah this uh it, it was so like just a white flash out of nowhere like it dolphin dove straight into my freaking tire, and that was the first time, I think the only time, that I hit an animal, and it was like, man, that little guy didn't make it. I like <laughs> animals. They're so innocent, and, well, maybe possums are a little scary. They're, like, creepy, guys. They're a little, yeah, they're a little creepy. They're a little creepy, but still, it's an animal, and then it got, it got hit by my car, and I was sad. I see when animals get hit. I. What did your dad tell you as a kid? <laughs> oh, he told me, because obviously you see a lot of roadkill, and when I was a little kid, that makes you sad, because you're like, oh, I love animals. I don't want them to die. He would just tell me they were on the side of the road, and I believed this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> they were eating French fries and they had ketchup, and I believed it for a little while. <laughs> and then I was, then I, eventually I was like, they're dead. This is a lie. They're Everything I thought I believed is so, so wrong. Did he think the inside of animals were ketchup? <laughs> yeah, you told me they were messy eaters. <laughs> it makes sense. I mean, if you're a little kid, you're, you're not stupid, but you just don't... You're logic isn't there yet. Yeah, exactly. You don't have logic. Actually, back to... I know this is completely off topic of Splinter Cell, but animal talk is great. Let's be real. Oh, animal yeah. talk is one of the best things Don't ever. So, yes. This is actually a really depressing story. Uh, it's about like what you're supposed to do when like an animal runs in front of your car. You have to hit them. Like, when I was like, I don't know, I think I was like 12, my best friend, her brother was getting married, and the day before the wedding, his fiance like, was driving, and she... Um, Swerved to avoid a deer and she died in a car crash. Yeah, that that's horrible. Like your instinct, I think, is gotta you gotta want to swerve and and sometimes you know you're driving really fast and it, it it's hard to do. On another note, on a happier note. Okay, good. The best. Well, it's still an animal getting hit. But the oh best, God. The best video ever 
And that sounds really bad. <laughs> oh, I know what you're doing but to say. But it's this bear, and then it's, like, going across the highway or whatever. Or it, I think it's a street. And, uh, like, a little car hits it. The bear, like, jumps up before it gets hit. And it, it like, lands on the windshield. And it does, like... It, it literally it goes flying in the air. Yeah, it flies in the air a little bit. It break dances from the momentum, and then it gets up and walks away. And I was so happy that it got up and walked <laughs> yeah. away. And it, the just, bear was fine, but it was like the movement it made as it got hit and like flew into the air looked like it was dancing. It was like one of the best things. It's kind ever. of like from our uh, GTA challenge video a few uh, weeks ago. How Nico. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, how he's just like stretched in the air. Like after a starfish. Die. Yeah, like, exactly. Straight, stuck like that. So, yeah, that there's, an, there's a video that just went, I like animals. So, Me too. <laughs> there's a video where like this bear in Colorado, he goes into the back of like a bar in the alley and it's caught on security camera. And he's digging in, in like a dumpster, one of those big green metal dumpsters with the wheels on the bottom. He's digging on it on his hind legs and then he ends up taking the dumpster full of food away the whole dumpster mm -hmm. he just rolls it out he roll he rolls it up <laughs> and then he comes back for the other dumpster <laughs> i love bears <laughs> bears are awesome i saw a bear one time on the side of the road and i barked at it in my car or it was my mom was driving and it ran away i didn't know what to do i was like Oof! and it ran it was really scared <laughs> I've been camping in Tennessee and you have to be like really aware of um, where you're keeping your food and, and how things are situated around your campground because black bears will take your shit. Beware of bear. Beware of bear. They want you bigger than a basket? Oh, I would love to hug a bear. Oh, there you go. I was just like, I got, you ever click on one YouTube video and then it leads to a million other ones, usually animal videos? I'm on a Disney kick right now. I clicked like one Disney video. It was, I don't know, some song from Mulan. And then I click on all of them. And then I was looking at Beauty and the Beast. And I was like, you know what? Like, I understand now. Like, why wouldn't you want to hug this big cuddly, like, bear creature? Because it'll bite your face off. <laughs> well, that one didn't bite her. Maybe at first like, he was kind of a dick. But it, they look so cuddly and cute. Maybe why aren't you hairy like a bear? A little bit on my legs. Not but. in a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bear would be awesome to have as a pet or, or like a big dog that's bear size. There was growing up grizzly where they had all the bears and they had Brad Pitt hugging the bears. There was some Animal Planet special where there was Brad Pitt and bears. And I don't know what I'm happened to jealous. that. Another reason I'm jealous of Brad Pitt. Well, now he has a million kids, so I mean, if that's your thing, but that's a lot of kids. I just want to hug a bear. I, yeah, I want to hug a bear too. So, Splinter Cell. <laughs> I kicked ass. You did. You're this good. Is a victory for me. I I, t I let Kelly take the lead, and she was planting bombs. I did. I, I will say in the multiplayer. Uh, I, I was causing a good distraction because you had the the person who planted the bomb, or excuse me, hacked the terminal. Uh, they had to hide in this vicinity around the terminal for a hundred seconds. And I was really good at like hiding. Like I would stay in one spot the entire time. No one would ever find me. Like I had that down. And then you would be there like hoop de doop and juggling dicks, and uh, they <laughs> would be distracted. Yeah. So there, there's the spies, and then there's the mercenary spies. Are in third person. They're a lot more agile. They can climb up to different levels. And the mercenaries are in first person. They're very clunky, and they have way more powerful weapons. They have like a like ar juggernaut armor kind of on. And the spies, they only we only have like a crossbow or a really weak pistol. So uh, the spies really and less health. Yeah, and so the spies have to hide, and it's awesome hide and seek. It's actually like surprisingly balanced. When they were telling us about, it, I was like, "This isn't gonna be balanced," but it actually was really balanced. Yeah, I think at first why I went, I, I did so good, seventeen and three. I was a mercenary. And I think I don't think people knew how to be yeah, spies yet. Yeah, I took <laughs> that's my, that of was that. my problem. <laughs> I was running around like woo, and I kept dying. And, and then I learned how to hide. But then when I was a mercenary, I was like, you have a flashlight as a mercenary, and that's about how you, like, find the um, spies. But I turned that off, and I acted like a spy mm -hmm. when I was a mercenary. They never that saw really me coming. That was a really good technique. Oh, my God. I was just... I was a beast. 
I'm gonna be number one Splinter Cell player in the universe as soon as it comes out. I was for a while that 17 and three game. I was probably one of the first people to play it, and I felt like the best ever. Yeah, that was good. Then, I remember you because I was on the other team. You kept shooting with a shotgun <laughs> as I was herpa derping all over. Trying, I just didn't get the game yet. And then once I understood it, I got better. And now I'm the best, and uh, I kicked your ass. Yeah, it was it was a really cool experience. You know, Canada has been awesome the two times we went. Yeah. So far, Toronto, the city, it's like they had like a New York kind of. Uh, we went downtown. They had like a movie playing. You know, big buildings, shopping mall, and they just had like the downtown was really awesome. Billboards everywhere. Yeah, what well, it kind of reminded me a little of Chicago too, because there was a lot of art. Yep. Yep. That's what I like about Chicago. There's constant like weird sculptures or art. I think we have like a, a, a giant Marilyn Monroe right now. That's just like a big ass Marilyn Monroe, and you can look up and look at her underwear. Yeah, it's that pose when like the the steam is coming up and her skirts like. Yeah, we have like a giant one of those. I don't know why. We have a lot of weird things in Chicago. Oh yeah, and it's it's also by uh, one of the Great Lakes too, like Chicago as well. Oh yeah, I like the Great Lakes. That's that's my that's my lake living life. That's your lake. I don't know what to say, but I like lakes. <laughs> I like the Great Lakes because they're great. Michigan, Lake Michigan's my lake. <laughs> it is. I love Lake Michigan. Anyways, you guys, I hope you have a good day. This is a K-pop victory. If you'd like to do some lake living with me, <laughs> what do you all like? Like for lake living. <laughs> Go check out Alex's channel. Links below. And bye. Bye. Bears.